Autumn on the river can be very spectacular. The fog is back and it adds drama and a bit of mystery to already so familiar fields and river bends. The pace of life starts to slow down, gradually merging with the sleepiness of dark winter nights. We are slowly settling into the half-forgotten habit of keeping the fire on every day and changing the lifestyle from spending hours outside and having loads of space to roam around in to the familiar, cozy and very comfortable insides of our narrowboat. Autumn is the time to let go. Let go of our summer habits, summer energy levels, and for us, our summer cruising. It's time to make a decision we've been trying to agree on for months and finally pick where we're going to spend this winter. What a beautiful autumn morning. Hello there folks, welcome to the episode. This week you've just got me as Marina is off in Slovenia uh, seeing her mum. Today um, we are in Pangborn, beautiful beautiful Pangborn and I'm heading to Reading uh, to get some supplies, get some diesel, uh, some gas, maybe some shopping, some food um, and then we'll be heading on down to Henley. When I say we I mean me. But yeah, what a lovely, lovely morning. I just wanted to share this with you, actually. Check this out. Check this out. Miles is used to cruising on his own. When we bought Alba, he single-handedly brought her from Great Haywood in West Midlands to London. A journey that took him three weeks of travel, navigating over 200 locks on the way. And he did all that with barely any experience, aside from a couple of narrowboat holidays with his family decades before. Today's journey is much more manageable, 15 miles and 5 locks, all the while going downstream. The locks in this part of the Thames are hydraulically operated. Only the ones from Lechley to just above Oxford are manual. So we've got ourselves a 100 litre water container um, now that we're on the Thames and just thinking if it gets flooded in winter and the water points aren't really good um, it was wise to get um, some extra water. We've also got a trolley that holds 250 kilograms so if we were stuck in a place we could take this to go fill up with water and bring it back on the trolley which could be quite a funny thing to watch. Um, in future episodes to come. But today we're going to give it a trial. Um, we're going to try and connect it and fill up our water tank, or empty it at least. I've treated the water as well. Okay. Do you have to treat it every time? Yeah. 
Well, I'm going we're going to. The most pathetic amounts coming out. I think it's probably leaking more. Hmm. I don't really want to set this one. It's pretty loose. So first time fail. We've tried both hoses and neither of them fit. It's got a bit of a weird end on it. Um, but I think we'll just need to get another bit of hose. We'll be in business. Alba was facing the wrong way. So we're turning her around. So we're going to treat our water. This is uh, we're going to try and make sure no leaves fall in here because that would be sad. Because then the water will go brown. Right. So I think. So this is drinking water purifier. You can get these at the local shop. Uh, there is no particular reason why we picked this one, just because it was the only one available. And you need 10 mil per hundred liters. Yeah, squeeze that up there for five mil. One. Ta da! Give it a little shake. Put the lid on it. Okay. I'm just showing Marina how we clear out the tracks in the window because they're full of foliage which is great for uh, reducing climate change but not very good for reducing the amount of times we need to replace our floor. So I get the spoon, the back of the spoon, you do it like this, you do it at this angle it should all fall out the seed. And then one more to make sure it's all gone. So the reason we decided to camp out in Henley um, for the next few weeks, maybe the next couple of months, was twofold, really. Now I've got to find two reasons why I said twofold. Um, the first being um, doing a lot of research about where we want to be in the winter in the sense of uh, where's safe or where's the most safe on the river. We've not spent a winter on the river before. Obviously, as you know, we spent the last three years, summers-wise, um, on the Thames. So we know that very well. And we, as you know, we absolutely love it. But in the winter, uh, we're not very clear um, about where is the best place to stay during the winter. There's a lot of parameters. And I think if we'd lived locally and understood the river throughout the seasons a little bit more we would have a better gauge of where's good where's safe where's not safe so driven by a lot of worry and a lot of research and talking to a lot of people who all think very different things 
and the beautiful variety of life, um, we decided that we were going to stay in Henley for an extended period. The reason being, first of all, is the bank is quite high and firm. It's all got, um, I guess, Armco um, to a certain degree. It's a proper 90 degree right angle bank with mooring rings. Uh, not everywhere uh, where we are has got mooring rings, but uh, the bit that we're on has got mooring rings and just gives us greater confidence that if the weather turns that we've got you know something sturdy to tie the boat onto equally in the winter obviously it can be cold it's dark and after doing two winters on the Kennet and Avon which we absolutely love and we are missing by the way um, we did want to take out a little bit of the chore um, now the Kennet and Avon is one of the most stunning stretches of canal uh, that we've been on but in the winter can be a little bit challenging um, and we've been willing to put up with the challenge particularly the mud yeah i think another reason of staying on the river and wanting something different um there was a you know a bit of that challenge uh, persisting um in everyday life just everything you do just getting the train to go to work or going to the shops or even just walking to the pub um, it required wearing wellies. So basically, we basically wore wellies from about October till April last year. Here we've got a uh, tarmac footpath, um, so it's not muddy, um, and that we don't, you know, we can stay here for a, an extended period um, without having to move. There's water here, um, and as you've seen, we've just got a 100 litre water tank for emergencies. So if we cannot move the boat to go to the water tank, uh, we've got our amazing trolley that we can carry 250 kilograms um, on and with 100 litres of water on that, that's 100 kilograms. There's your basic physics lesson. So in an emergency, we can bring water to us rather than having to go out and get it, um, which is very exciting. I mean, uh, it just gives us an extra half a week um, of water and we'd only have to fill it up three, four times to get a full tank to last us a couple of weeks so um yeah so that's why we're in henley plus it's very beautiful here and got all the creature comforts of being in a town you know for four years four seasons we have been continuously cruising which we thoroughly love and as you've seen we absolutely love um gives us a lot of energy it's a hobby it's a passion can sometimes be a chore and cold and chopping down trees yeah we just fancied something different this year so we've gone for creature comforts staying in one spot for an extended period of time there's also other boaters around here which is nice got a little bit of a community um, and all the lovely local amenities we found a great indian restaurant we found um, some great charity shops we found um, some great supermarkets planet organics opened up which marina is really happy about i've been going to the gym oh which has been painful. So yeah, we're just having a little bit more normality in our winter, this winter, hopefully. There's no, nothing normal on a boat. Thank you all so much for watching. Huge thank you to our amazing patrons for keeping us going. If you've been watching for a while, consider joining our Patreon family to get a sticker of Alba and many other perks. Sending you all our love. See you in the next one.